Look at that crack. That thing was popping like nuts when I was sending it, man. Still pretty big. Oh, my shoulders are sore today. All right, so my favorite way to send big wood, instead of looping that around and retying a knot, and instead of using a carabiner, which will probably get crushed down there, just loop it through, get yourself a bit of slack, throw it over. Tight, and then loop that around the back and then by shoving it over the top like that you get maximum pull that way the only dangerous thing that could potentially happen if this slips sideways or that and comes off if they're yanking down there and that suddenly slips you know the log could go back so important just to make sure that's tight and that's directly in the middle of the direction you want to pull. Um, sometimes, yeah, good idea just to get the ground is to yank on it, make sure it's going to come. Um, so I'm going to be scarfing for, yeah, four meters down there somewhere. Yeah, give it a pull. Looks pretty good. Um, and these things are absolutely invaluable for this. Um, oh wow. Look at me, professional. Didn't do my leg strap up. <laughs> um, YouTube tutorial 101. Do your harness up before you get in the tree. So these things are awesome because you can be in your rope, scarfing, takes the weight off your legs, and then yeah, you've got a big scarf, and then you just take this out to do the back cut. Yeah, make sure you take that out before you send it. Fairly confident that it should go that way. It would suck if it didn't, if it went that way. Probably squish the truck, the road. <laughs> I think I generally like to do my scarves this side or is it this side? No, definitely, definitely this side. Sweet. Um, you guys reckon you'll definitely get that without a five to one? Look at that, tangly, tangly. Now if I was smart, I'd put a little pulley and get the guys to pull it up. But I'm not smart. Yeah, I'm cold, so I needed to pull up the chainsaw to warm up. But don't be like me. Get the groundies to do the hard yakka. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we could hear what you guys are saying too. It's so much better. Um, all right, what do you reckon? I reckon a bit lower, eh? About here? I reckon. Yeah, yeah, get it out. It does, it does have a bit of a back lead in the last trunk too. All right, so pick your side you wanna scarf from. Oh, I personally prefer this side. This helps me line up with my sights better. So I'm probably a little bit backwards, but I like to do my top cut first. Um, this helps me line up the bottom cut in here. Uh -huh.
the saw in the scarf, line it up on the site, straight towards our landing zone. Um, yeah, make sure there's no Dutchman's, which is really important. Same as on the ground, but especially scary in the tree. If that's like overcut here or here, it can get to here and then the gap closes up and it just sits there and it can take it's a just not a nice position to be in because then you generally have to overcut the scarf to get it to go and need lots of pressure to pull it down there and you lose all your directional hinge um, in terms of size of the scarf i normally yeah like to go at least half or bigger um, just helps shift that center of gravity over they don't have to pull as hard um, there's not a huge top up there which is going to factor in the weight it's pretty much going to follow the hinge whether it's here 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 or here um, yeah the downside of doing the top cut first is when you come to do your bottom cut if you've matched them up perfectly it's going to sit down and pinch the saw so sometimes yeah chuck a bit of bark in here or a wedge um, or just do your bottom cut first and match them up normally it takes me a few goes to get it right um, it's always nice when you get it first go but yeah on these mountain ash little wing cuts is generally advised because yeah the bike can tear down and pull your rope out so yeah we'll wait for these guys set up the five to one um, take this out Yeah, so that's all it takes, a thin little strip because that bit is still going to be left so as that hinges over and falls this can tear down and rip you out um, many climbers have been taken out by being pulled there uh, the guys down there cinching up the 5 to 1 so good to have that mechanical advantage alright, take this bad boy out Whew. Woo. Um, kill. So I think that's, yeah, it's a lot bigger than a fifth. What, probably a fourth? So my prediction is it'll do full probably bigger than a fourth yeah so it's probably gonna hit stand up and just flop over I think the only thing you don't want it to do is land stand up and then fall sideways yeah this can't go Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I thought it would, yeah, not quite land flat, well, far off landing flat because it's too big, but it just slams into the ground and jumps forward. Um, it's all good that we ding that up a bit because it's being re-landscaped. Um, so we just want to try and get the biggest bit that we can safely fit down there, save the work and hassle. Yeah, so you can see the scarf, it's probably, that's about halfway there, so it's just over half. Got the hinge, I left a little bit more on that side. We have to go that way a bit, it's probably aiming too far that way. So, we're great. All right, 
right, well, might go about here. You reckon bigger? You guys always make me go bigger. That's why I create craters. is going home. Yeah, a few trucks here. 